One of the most common questions I get asked is what is the return on investment of branding? And I'll be honest, it's not always an easy answer, but in this video, I'm going to share seven ways that good branding makes you more money. Let's go. What up y'all, I'm Liz Marie, your friendly neighborhood brand strategist, creative director, and lover of people making money. I am all about women and BIPOC entrepreneurs making money. That's what I'm here for because I believe that money is power and that will help us create a more equitable world. Nothing more important than that. So let me start off by saying that the top ranked brands in the world outperformed the whole rest of the stock market by 74%. That means the best brands outperformed the already great, big, huge, successful, thriving companies by 74% over the last 15 years. That's insane. And that is the power of branding, but that doesn't just affect big, huge companies. That power can be leveraged for your brand too. So let me give you some background. I have worked in branding for 14 years now. And over that time, I worked with a lot of finance companies. And I really began to learn a lot about money that I didn't get exposure to growing up, that most people don't get exposure to growing up. I learned how fucking powerful it is to have money and that most of the people that have it already have power because they're white men and white women too. So if you are a marginalized person, historically oppressed person, if you don't have the advantages, the privileges, the opportunities, the resources, the access that traditionally white men have had, money is power. <laughs> so for people of color, for women, for women of color especially, that overall haven't had the access, resources, opportunities, financial anything <laughs> that overall white women have had, that white men have had for sure, money is power. It is a game changer. It gets you in those rooms. It gets your family on a new playing field. It breaks cycles. It totally changes the game. That was a lot to say that I'm all about people making money. And I really got to a point where I wanted to do good in the world and contribute to equity and equality with what I do with my life. And I had this epiphany that, oh, actually the skill set I already have working in branding really does help people do that because if you're a business owner, branding helps you make more money, which helps contribute to building your own wealth. But again, this is something that we're not taught. I didn't grow up learning about branding and I did grow up as a white middle-class kid. If I didn't learn about it, I know that a lot of other people didn't learn about it. And I was just really fortunate and privileged and had all these opportunities to get access to this information, which is exactly why I'm sharing it with you guys today in this video. So how can branding make you more money? The first and my favorite one, you can charge more money. <laughs> when you have invested in your brand, when it looks polished, when your messaging is like, on point, people will pay more money for that shit. That is why luxury brands mark up their products thousands of percent, like you wouldn't believe. And check out my video on luxury branding for more on that. If you are polished, clear, targeted, if you stand out, people will pay more for your product or your service or your brand than they would for the commodity or even for another competitor. So the first thing you can do, mark that shit up. Number two, you can win new customers from your competitors. Branding sets you apart. That is basically the entire point. That is why we do this. And what happens when you are set apart from people out there? Not only can you gain new customers or clients who haven't bought your type of product or service before, but you can steal them away from your competitors because you have something superior. And obviously more customers, more clients, equals more money. A good way to think about this when you're evaluating if it's the right time for you to invest in your brand is to think how many more customers or sales per year would you need to offset that cost? And do you think that's a reasonable number to obtain? Do you think that branding would help you get that number? Now you won't know for sure, but I would imagine you have a pretty good sense of where that might land and you can see if it's worth it or not. Always up to you. Number three, your customers will be more loyal to your brand than ever before if it's fucking good. One of the most important marketing metrics there is, is customer lifetime value. It measures how much money your one customer brings into your business throughout the entire lifetime of the relationship, which might be their actual lifetime. The idea behind this is that it is a lot cheaper to keep 
a happy customer and keep them purchasing again and again and again than it is to go out and get a totally new person to replace them. So this may be obvious to you if you're a little experienced in business, but you're better off keeping people happy and keeping them coming back than trying to reinvent the wheel all the time. That's also fucking stressful. If you have really good branding, it creates loyalty. People feel attached to it. It's the reason people wear logos all over their body or feel so strongly about, you know, Pepsi versus Coke. There's something to, this is my brand, I identify with it, this is the one that I get, I would never get that other one over there. And as a business, that keeps you rolling. You need that loyalty. And it also begets other loyalty, referrals, people give it as gifts. They recruit other people into your sphere of influence and help you grow. Number four, people who trust your brand are more willing to buy new things from you. So this is that same idea of loyalty, but extended to growth, scaling, building out your products or services. If someone already trusts you with this thing over here, they're gonna be that much more likely to buy the next thing from you. And that gives you more opportunities, more different product lines, especially if they're not competing, to get more money from just one customer, which contributes to more revenue, more money, more wealth. These are all good things. The absolute, utter, complete master at this is Apple. We all were totally down with Apple making computers, all in, great, stand in line for them, all that shit. Then they came out with phones and TVs and watches and all of this other stuff. And no one hesitated because we trusted them to do this one thing well, so we trust them to do this other thing well. There's a little more to it than that with Apple as well. Part of it is they position themselves not as a computer company, but as a think differently company and there's an amazing video on this by Simon Sinek. It's a TED talk, you should totally check it out. But a big part of that is we trust Apple with this, so we will trust them with that and give them even more of our money, especially because they do charge a big premium. Okay, number five, good branding helps you market more effectively and more efficiently. So this is the idea that you're not only saving some resources on marketing costs, it's more effective, so you're getting more bang for your buck. Now, I want to be clear, Branding is not marketing. Branding is not marketing. These are two different things. I have a video on this to discuss the difference because everyone gets it confused and that's totally okay. But branding is what you stand for, what you wanna be known for, uh, your reputation. Marketing is how you get out that message. And they go hand in hand. If you have a really unique, differentiated brand, if your message is super strong and totally resonates with exactly the people that you want it to resonate with, it's just gonna make your marketing that much easier. It's gonna make your marketing money, your dollars, your budget, go that much further and uh, you're not gonna have to work quite as hard. So it saves you money and gets you more bang for your buck. Number six, your brand is an asset this is a super commonly overlooked attribute especially for small businesses your brand has value it is like an investment it is an asset that you're creating that is worth money here's a way to think about it you're probably a little bit familiar with stocks on the stock market this is a share of a company that is worth x number of dollars well when it comes to determining a stock's share price or its valuation when it's going for its initial a public offer in the stock market, there are a few different factors. So part of the factor, 30 to 40% is based on tangible assets. So that might be literal inventory or the staff, like things that really owns, hard assets. But the rest of it is intangible assets. And 30 to 40% of that is your brand. That is a huge, huge, huge portion of your valuation when you go into the stock market that is based on your brand, which is your reputation and the likelihood that you will be able to make money on that reputation in the future. The belief that there will be sales that come from your goodwill in the marketplace. And that applies to all sizes of brands. You may not be familiar, but the S&P 500 common index of the stock market represents the largest 500 companies by these valuations. But there are small companies in the stock market. That's a whole type of investment. There are what's called micro companies. All types of companies can go public and get investors. You could get investors in your company in the future. You could get private investors in your company. You could sell your company. If you build a sustainable business and a strong brand with a strong reputation, you could sell that shit and be done and retire and have your generational wealth and just be good. It is important to build a brand because you are building an asset. Whew. Got me all fired up. And number seven, good branding attracts great 
talent. This is another really overlooked element, especially if you haven't hired employees yet, but as you grow, you will find out that employees talent are one of the most expensive fucking things you will ever do in business. That is the probably the bulk of your costs. And it is really, really expensive when they leave. You may also know if you've ever managed people that sometimes one amazing, super badass employee is worth like a whole bunch of shitty ones because they get that much more done, they're that much better at their job. So good branding is kind of the flip side of culture, of creating an amazing culture. They really go hand in hand. Branding is like the external facing stuff and culture is the inside stuff. And if it's really, really awesome, talented people wanna work for you. Talented people who are gonna be really good at what they do and help you make more money. And if you're really, really awesome, they're gonna to wanna to stay there for a long time. They're not gonna leave. You're not gonna to have to constantly be hiring and training new people, which is really expensive. And you're gonna build this amazing culture that people want to be at that is really, really desirable, not just for the employees and the talent, the, the whole good of the workforce, but also for investors too, if you're looking for that in the future. So attracting great talent is a great way to keep and make more money. So at the end of the day, say it with me, great branding makes you more money. There's one thing you could walk away with, it is that. And if you're not in a place right now to invest in your brand, that's not what I'm trying to tell you to do. You don't need to go spend your entire budget and throw it into branding, that's not necessarily realistic either. But I want you to have this mindset that this is something you are building every day over time with your actions, with your decisions, and certainly with your strategy, your messaging, your design, so that you create this asset that not only makes you money on a day-to-day -day basis, but hopefully eventually you can sell or you can pass down or you can get money on the back end from this asset that you're creating because money is power and I want you to have a lot of fucking power. For more on topics like this, you can check out my free training, how to build a powerful brand from scratch. I'll get more into the nitty gritty of the different components of really, really awesome brands or to see where you're at and kind of feel out what do you need to work on, what next. You can take my quiz, where are you in your brand journey? I'll link to both of those below. And until next time, stay badass. All right, y'all, if you like this video, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff down there. And check me out at, at LizMarieStrategy or LizMarieStrategy.com.